channel. Hope you're all well. It's a gorgeous day again. And I'm off later for my first nail appointment since, ooh, beginning of March, end of February. I cannot wait. <laughs> it's going to be a, a bit late in the day for me. Um, six o'clock appointment and then of course you've got to get done. So, uh, oh, but I was so happy to get down there. And I should have my mask on and be all protected because you've got to do all that kind of stuff, obviously. And uh, be really happy to um, have him done again because <laughs> it's just one of those things, isn't it? And you just feel um, that you're like groomed and you look nice and things when your nails are done and you and your hair is cut and all that kind of thing. So this morning, um, I've got Nani with me and she is wearing um, the little top from Petty Batu that uh or bateau i did look it up actually on google i think it's bateau i got you know where you can get to see where they pronounce things um but i still forgot what it was never mind it's, it is early in the morning it's all quiet um tegan's still asleep um <laughs> she her alarm went off earlier on but she slept through it so i just left her there for a little while and thought i'd come in and um show you a haul i got from tiny angels now, Tiny Angels Boutiques is uh, pre-loved, just in case you don't know. Uh, it's a pre-loved uh, site here in the UK. And um, they have some lovely things. They're good quality, always beautifully washed and ironed. Um, and at the moment, they've got a 50% off sale. Um, if you want to go on and get anything, a lot of stuff is gone now. You click on it and it says out of stock. But there might still be something that you want. And um, the code comes up right at the start when you go on the site um, for you to see. So, I got a whole load of stuff and I've been waiting. I ordered um, th this lot on the 12th of July and it's just arrived this morning, the 22nd. So it's taken 10 days. Um, they weren't dispatched until the 17th. So it was quite slow. That's the only thing I would say. You know, if I could speak to the woman or whoever it is that runs it, I would say you know, tighten up your dispatch times and um, clear out the stock stuff off the sides, um, you know, so that uh, it just makes life easier. But apart from that, they, it's a brilliant service. Um, and they're offering gift cards now, so they're obviously starting to um, up their game a little bit. So I'm hoping we'll have some new things on soon. But um, I'm addicted to the site. I'm always on there looking for things. Um so let's get on with the um, haul, shall we? Um, so first off, I can't remember the prices of these. Uh, they don't put an invoice and I didn't look on my um, uh, orders to print it off because Tegan's sleeping in the craft room because um, it's a, the spare bedroom as well. And um, the, my printer's in there and I didn't want to wake her up. Uh, I wanted to leave her sleep because she was tired yesterday. Falling asleep in front of the TV she was, bless her. So first up, this I thought might be nice for um, Tristan. And this is a little top by Junior J. And on the front, he's got a walrus. I was absolutely taken with that. I thought that was adorable. So he's got this cute little walrus. It's a, it's a white background. Little white poppers on the left shoulder. Uh, which is usually good because it means the neck is small. It does look a little bit big on this one though. So you're probably going to end up seeing his vest. But um, it is a lovely top. I was taken with it. It's just cute. And he's dressed um, in like a stripy sailor t-shirt and a little cap. Um, when I'm saying sailor, it reminds me of sailor because I'm thinking nautical straight away. But actually it's just a stripy top and a little baseball hat, I think, with a J on the front. And then you've got embroidered waves at the bottom. And Junior J embroidered, and then a mixture of embroidered and appliqued little fish. And I just think that's really, really cute. And then the next thing was uh, these two tops. They, they come as a set. Uh, poor Nani is going to get, let's move you up a little bit and move these down a little bit. There you go. Let's just check what you can see. Let's just put it down a little bit. Excuse my pulling around. I have to do my tripod up quite tightly. Um, because it's getting a bit old now <laughs> and thrown around. Um, it's covered in uh, hot glue and it goes to the side. I have to straighten it and all sorts of things. But uh, being just working, I'm loath to buy another one yet. Um, and this is a set of two. You've got 
This one, Diana at the Hummingbird Nest would love, wouldn't she? A little hummingbird and it's um, an off-white background. It's got little frill sleeves which are really, really cute. Um, the bird is uh, excuse me, printed on the front and then you've got little, they, they're like sequins but they're fabric. It's absolutely lovely. And then underneath it says, a little bird told me. And then with that you get a matching plain pink one. And I, another thing I like about these is the back, if you can just see down there, is longer than the front. I like those sort of t-shirts anyway. Um, but uh, they're really handy for the babies when they're sitting, aren't they? But I do like the, I love t-shirts that go down a little bit more at the back than the front. Um, and these two were F&F &F by Tesco's. Or F and F at Tesco's. Then next was a set of three baby grows, and these are by I have no clue. <laughs> I didn't look inside before I started. I just thought, oh, I'll go and do that video. Um, newborn, Lily and Dan. Oh, I haven't heard of them before. And it's a set of three sleep suits, and this one's got um, a white background. It's got all different colour clouds on it. Grey, just outline, pink, yellow, green. They're gorgeous. There's um, a cute little pink one there, um, just a pink outline, a smiley face, and a grey one up there that says sleepy. And there's little zeds, um, a little sort of um, look at that, like a doodle cloud. Isn't that lovely? And in that set as well is a plain white one with. Some clouds at the top on the shoulder, on the front rather, that says sweet dreams. And then the last one is white with pink polka dots. So they'll be lovely for the uh, for Scarlet and uh, the small girls. And this next one is a tiny baby. I'm just going to see where it comes from a second. And it's from Mother Care. And it says it fits up to five pounds, so I thought it would be perfect for grace and i'm going to try it on i think it might be now looking at it but when i opened it i thought um, it looked a bit big it's not that far off the newborn really but i will try it on her and uh, you never know um i think it might end up a bit in between but it's a uh, lovely velour a broidered heart on the chest on the bodice part and then a lovely frill around the neck isn't that gorgeous really nice i like that and then at the feet as well, you've got a frill around the ankle or around the foot. Uh, and then it's more, it's even more. Next up is another set of two baby grows. And these are, I buy, I have no clue as well. I should really look before I start, shouldn't I? You've got that gorgeous pink one, loads and loads of flowers all over it and butterflies. Uh, butterflies are my thing, actually. I love butterflies. I've even got a butterfly tattoo on my shoulder. absolutely love butterflies. Um, when I used to reborn many years ago, like 2007, 8, 9, around there, and sell my babies, I was my butterfly baby's nursery. So, uh, which actually, my granddaughter Jade... Uh, made up the name for that or came up with the name for that because I wanted something with butterfly or butterflies in it and she said that so I went with it because she um, thought of it uh, these are from two at Sainsbury's and honestly a lot of this stuff is just like new you wouldn't think it had been worn it's gorgeous and this has got the pink background lots of lovely flowers as I said um, little butterflies no feet so you can have cute little bare feet sticking out or little booties or socks. And it's got the lovely uh, crocheted sort of uh, pico edging. And then the other one that goes with it is mostly white. And it's got uh, flowery sleeves. And it's also got, um, I don't know what that is. Oh, a camel. It's got two humps. A camel, um, some kind of dotty cat or dog type animal. Zebra, elephants, it's lovely, it's like a really girly safari. You don't even notice these little animals are in amongst the flowers actually. Um, I didn't when I looked it online, I noticed the front, that got my attention. And on the front it's got the white background with pink polka dots, very pale. And it's got embroidered flowers and words on there and it's got a zebra, 
elephant with a 3D ear. How cute is that? A camel, embroidered flowers, and then the embroidered words, Hello Cutie. So that is really lovely, isn't it? And uh, Tegan doesn't know about this yet, but these next things are for her, um, Chase. Um, and she'll love these, I think. I wanted to go for something that was more, um, you know, like would be cute for a, a, a child with her reborn. So we've got this gorgeous um, Disney top. Yeah, it is from Disney, Disney Mickey Mouse. And it's got Mickey Mouse, of course, Donald Duck, Goofy, and the word in 1928. I don't know whether that's uh, relevant in some way. Uh, like Walt Disney's birth date or uh, when the company started. I don't think it's that old, is it? And then this one was a single one on its own. And then these three came as a pack. And I have got these for um, Tristan. I think they're exactly the same. And you've got a lovely dark blue with grey bottom. I love these tags coming out with the seams of things. Um, lovely big happy face of Mickey Mouse. Mickey uh, underneath, I'm not sure if that's, no it's that funny stuff I don't usually like, and you've got like an applique, the hands are appliqued, and the rest is that funny plasticky feeling um, thing you get on logos today, and the second one has Mickey Mouse in a pocket, and if you saw my video from my haul the other day, she was quite fascinated with the rabbit and the bunny coming out, uh, bunny and the, what was the other thing, it was a rabbit, bunny, whatever, and Maybe it was a duck, I can't remember. Coming out of the pockets of Narnia's um, rock blue and white romper. She absolutely loved that. And then the last one is that this is, um, it always reminds me of jazz hands. I said that one, Tristan and his, and it does. It just reminds you of jazz hands. Ooh, like that sort of thing. So she's got that as well. So she'll be happy with those when she wakes up. It's a little surprise for her. Uh, and then we're still going. <laughs> it is a 50% off sale. You've got to get all the things that you've been looking at and not bought, haven't you? Now, this is three to six months, and it comes from Mamas and Poppers, made in China. Um, uh, and it's white. It was like winter white, actually. It's not quite winter white. And it's three to six months, but I thought that it might be nice on Narnia because, uh, for one, I really like it, and it was cheap. Which is always good, isn't it? <laughs> and secondly, uh, I just really loved it. And it was like, oh my God, I really like that. But it's in the wrong size. And then I thought, well, she's a good not to three months. So she probably could wear it fine and just would have a little bit of room in it. But it's absolutely lovely. It's like a winter white. It's got pico trim on the sleeves. A lovely frill collar. And embroidered loved across there um, in a sort of vintage pink type colour which oh I love this sort of colour and then it's got little flowers and little things uh, embroidered around the capital L and it's absolutely gorgeous and I thought well um I'm gonna try it on her anyway and hopefully it will uh, fit her and then still some more <laughs> not too much now but still some more and then this was another pack of three t-shirts these are for Narnia these are not to three months, and I can see that they're by um, Nutmeg. Let's move that down a little bit so you can see. And I looked at these on and off, on and off, on and off, and I thought, well, I don't really know if I want that sort of outfit for um, Narnia. But at the same time, they're really, really cute. And I did put them in and out of my basket a few times, but uh, in the end, I thought, no, I'm going to go for it because they're really cute. And I'm glad I did now look at them because, look at this, is so sweet. It's got the little 3D flowery ears, uh, lilac and white uh, polka dot uh, top, like a bodice, a white bottom with embroidered and printed rabbit's face on that one. I love how they do the uh, pattern inside as well. A gorgeous flowery one, which is really pretty, really lovely colours. And then this one is really, really cute, super cute. It's pink which is my favourite colour, and it's got little bunnies and little chicks on it in uh, all sorts of colours, pink, um, lilac, turquoise, white with turquoise ears, little uh, yellow ducks, um, no, chicks, I should say chicks, and it's absolutely lovely, I really like those, so I'm glad I got them now, and then, <clears throat> come up to the end now nearly, <laughs> 
and this is a newborn sleeper by Amelia Rose and it feels lovely actually it's a lovely quality um, it's white and it's got oh, look at that how oh, cute can you see that it's got little cute bunnies or a bunny and a teddy embroidered on the end of the sleeve and then over the front it's got little footprints little blue footprints and this I loved that part of it I thought that was just gorgeous but when you look at the feet how cute is that like little shoes <laughs> and they're sort of like a plique on just on the front there so you see them on the top of his feet um and I looked at it and I thought oh my goodness that's just gonna look so cute on one of the boys and then for this is from F and F at Tesco's again still got the tag on it and this I thought would be lovely for Saren and it's absolutely gorgeous it's got um the tutu skirt so she could have worn that last week couldn't she if it arrived a bit quicker for for the theme thursday and around the front then it's got a, a gorgeous silver fairy it's like an outline she's got stars in her hair star wand and little cartoony hands aren't they cute and then the wings have got silver thread around the outside and then they're appliqued on and it's pink broidery on glaze type fabric it's absolutely gorgeous it's got the vest top and a little bit of a sleeve um i think i should look lovely on her i might put that on her later but uh i've dressed them already for theme thursday so uh, that might be a bit uh, impractical <laughs> and then last but not least i think i might have to give this to my great granddaughter uh, i thought it was a dress as a uh, put it back a bit and make it a bit smaller there you go Oh, hang on. There you go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Uh, I thought it was dress for some reason. I don't know why. And it was only cheap, but more than a pound or something. And it's this gorgeous tutu. Uh, and I did think that it would be lovely on Madison. And I will try it on her, but I can't cover her. I can't see how I can cover her legs because the top half of her legs is cloth. And I can't see how I can cover her legs with a with a short leggings or something. But um, unless I put the leggings underneath, of course, that would be a good idea. But I will try it on her. But um, it's not to worry because my great-granddaughter can have it otherwise. And it's just a gorgeous tutu from two, <laughs> a Sainsbury's. And it's got the little string sleeves, string sleeves, string straps. <laughs> little thin straps, that's easier to say. Little diamante butterfly that is made out of like two hearts. Look, gorgeous, really pretty. And then, um, like gross grain ribbon around the middle with a bow, and then all the jush, all the frou frou around the bottom. Absolutely lovely. So, uh, and all this was like half price, it didn't come to a lot. Hope you watches the video. So I won't say how much, but it didn't come to a lot. Because um, a lot of things like two ninety nine, it's half price. Um, <clears throat> even the you know the more expensive out of the things, none of it was very expensive. I think the um, these two baby grows. I think these two were two ninety nine, and then you had half price. So that's an example of the prices. Um, but it's absolutely lovely. I'm so chuffed with it. I'm gonna play with that now. Goodness knows where I'm going to put all these clothes. <laughs> I might have to do a charity shop run and uh, swap some around a bit. But every time I do that, then I find I want something that I've sent to the charity shop. It'll be like, oh, I know, I've got that lovely top with something on the front that would um, be perfect for Theme Thursday or would be ideal with those leggings, trousers, whatever it is. And then I go looking for it and I haven't got anything to myself. There's only one place it could have gone, it's down the charity shop. But you can't keep everything either, can you? And I like to pass things on. So there's someone gets the benefit of it. I don't, uh, I'd rather give it to a charity than sell it or anything like that. I'd rather, you know, somebody else have the benefit of it. Especially as we're buying um, the clothes, uh, you know, just for dolls. I mean, to us, there are babies and we enjoy dressing them and it's all part of the hobby is, um, you know, buying the clothes and dressing them and taking photos and making videos and we all thoroughly enjoy it but um 
I sort of feel better then not selling them on and rather I'd rather uh, give them to charity and then the charities can have some benefit from it and also people can have some benefit from it uh, by finding affordable clothes at the time when they need it. Um, I was a single parent for 11 years with my five children and when they were small, the charity shops are better than mine, I must say, uh, well, in my experience. And um, I quite often used to pop into a charity shop and uh, see what I could find. And um, there used to be a lot more knitting done for the shops and things like that in those days. Um, so quite often used to pop in and pick up um, things uh, for the kids just to help out. And it was brilliant. Uh, one time I went in the charity shop and it was just as my eldest son was coming up to 12 and going up to the senior school and he needed a whole load of uniform. I needed blazers and shirts and trousers and shoes and rugby kit and PE kit and this thing and that thing and books and all the rest of it. And I didn't know how on earth I was going to manage it. And I went into this charity shop with my sister actually. We were wandering around. We just went in for a browse. And somebody had taken in almost everything I needed, like uniform-wise, trousers, blazer, everything. And it was all, like, brand new. It, it was all, it like, still had the creases in the shirts from the packet. So whether they'd overbought, the child had grown out of it, or whatever. But um, I got a whole load of stuff um, for him, and it really helped me out. It was such a relief to um, be able to find these things. So now, um, when I've got things that... Um, I count as like frivolous having all these things. Um, then I like to, you know, take them back. So th I'm always thinking that somebody else could have the benefit. Um, so I like to do that. And we've got baby banks today and food banks and all that kind of thing. So anything that we got that uh, we don't use or if we've got tins in the cupboard that no one's eating or things like that, I always like to uh, um, pass them on to somebody else. So that's it for today. T going to be back on the next video. So there'll be all fun and games again. <laughs> um, oh, she's so sweet. She, and if you notice, as the videos are going on, she's talking more and more. She's getting her, her confidence. It's doing her good. Because um, she's naturally shy and a, a, more of a, a child that will stand back and warm up to a situation. And being on lockdown for all these months and uh, being at home and can't go out and can't see friends and that kind of thing has really, uh, you know, quietened her down. She's really quiet. But uh, she's doing fine, and she's she loves doing video. She loves Chase to bits, absolutely loves him to bits, takes him to bed every night. He goes next to her on the um, bouncy chair next to where she sleeps, and um, she lays him down, puts a blanket over him, puts his bottle by him, and takes his hat off so he's comfy, and all these little things, and tucks him in, and then off she goes then to uh, watch a little movie for a while until she drops off. Um, and she she loves it to bits but she'll be back for theme Thursday um, tomorrow, we'll probably actually film it on Thursday tomorrow um, or I may even just do it this afternoon, I'll see what uh, we want to do because we've been doing a, a really complicated puzzle at the moment jigsaw puzzle and it's uh, gorgeous, it's got all tropical fish and this sort of thing on it and we started doing it yesterday and it took us about two hours and we had like maybe a dozen pieces put together but it, it's a bit of a challenge, isn't it? You've got to, you've got to stick to your challenges. Oh, excuse me. So there we go. And um, we'll be back soon with... Um, there's a couple of um, challenges going around. I've done the little one and failed it miserably. And there's the cute one as well. And I thought, there's no way I can do a haul and not say cute. <laughs> and my, my, I, my adorable is my word I've always got not to say. So um, maybe that'll be a good challenge if you see this. Um, and I'll do it myself as well. And don't say adorable. Um, so that's my challenge. Um, <laughs> so that should be really good fun. It's surprising. You must have... The brain must store a certain amount of vocabulary that it uses, like, every day, and it just fires it out without you thinking about it. Because you do, you're do you talking away, and quite often you don't even realise you said the word you're not supposed to say. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, it's amazing how we, you know, how difficult it is. But uh, I'm definitely going to do the cute challenge, and um, we're definitely going to do Theme Thursday. So um, I'll probably fail again, but I'm going to try really, really hard this time. Last time I thought, what I'll do is I'll just do the video and keep it in my mind, but see if I can naturally not do it. And I thought, because I thought, oh, I'm bound to mess it up anyway, was one thought. 
And then the other thought was, but you never know, you know, just relax and you, you know you're not to say it and you won't. But I did. <laughs> it was the scissors that got me, I think. I think that's what started it off. And I knew I said it, but afterwards when I listened to the video back, I said it far more times than I thought I did. So anyway, um, I hope you have a lovely day, everyone. Uh, we may be back later with Theme Thursday, a little bit early, as usual, um, or otherwise we'll do it tomorrow. And also we're going to do the um, cute challenge as well. And um, I'll do an adorable challenge too, because this has been great fun uh, doing these things around. Um, so if anybody else wants to, um, it, it, to take up any of these challenges, um, the first one was Little, Don't Say Little, and that was started by um, Holly Church. And then the second one was cute. And I can't remember who started that one. I think it was Gail at uh, Susie Q's Happy Little Haven. And then I'll set you adorable, because I say adorable too much. And then we'll go from there and see, um, you know, what else we can think of that will uh, be uh, really uh, fun. They are fun to do because uh, you just think, oh, it's just a word, but it's actually quite more, it's more difficult than you think. So bye for now, everyone. Take care. Hope you have a great day. And uh, I shall be back soon with uh, Little Miss, Little Moo Moo, as I call her. And uh, we shall see you soon. So take care. Look after yourselves and each other. Lots of love. Bye.